If you're a new player or, you know, you're just someone that's will wanting to change things up a bit, sometimes you'll ask other people or your friends on what kind of sleeves or deck boxes or stuff like that, that they recommend. Now, the question of that sort that I most often get usually has to do with double sleeving, because in Vanguard, you're actually allowed to double sleeve your sleeves, which means having two layers of sleeves in official tournaments, even in high level tournaments, which is really great, I think, because it lets you protect not just your cards, but also your sleeves. And that way it also prevents potential damage if those cards were actually damaged because usually the over sleeve will go first maybe the inner sleeve getting affected a slight like a tiny bit depending on your over sleeve of course and then the card will usually stay fine but today i'm going to talk about just my favorite types of sleeves my favorite types of uh inner sleeves my favorite types of over sleeves my favorite types of deck boxes deck holders like the the bigger deck boxes and stuff like that just kind of a bit of a low-key video just to give you some insights into what i actually use so to start things off i'm a pretty big advocate of boucherode sleeves so these you know they'll usually come in like this in this kind of pack boucherode sizes are always mini size you don't want to get the hg or regular size those are for magic pokemon etc the mini sizes are for Vanguard and Yu-Gi-Oh, so keep that in mind, but these will always come in these kind of packs. Uh, at this moment, as we are speaking, there is 70 in this pack, so you usually get your bang for your buck, you get enough for your 50 card deck, plus, you know, 20 or so spares if they do break. But the only issue with Bushroot sleeves is that they do break relatively easily, and a lot of them do have nice illustrations on them, so you do want to protect that. So let me just quickly show you what my favorite sleeve combination usually is. So this is actually my favorite sleeve that I own, which is the Fighters Climax 2013. And so these sleeves are from an event uh, from 2013 that Bushroot held for Vanguard. They don't do a lot of these event-based sleeves anymore, not as often as before, but as you'll see, you know, this is what it looks like, you know, in its on its own, but this is what I mean as the second layer of the sleeve. But, you know, you'll see this one is quite, like, worn out at this point, which you should replace them every now and again. But this is the hardest oversleeve I've ever used, and they are sharp as hell on the corners to the point that it will actually cut your skin if you try hard enough. Um, or, like, not even try hard enough. Like, I've sometimes in tournaments actually, like, poked through my fingers, and it's pretty scary. But, yeah, so these are really sharp, really thick, but the most important thing is, is that when you do sleeve them in, they basically squeeze the card in the sleeve. So they usually even them out. I know one of the issues that people have with double sleeving is that they're like, oh, but I don't want my cards to get bendy because of the double sleeve. This keeps it really, really flat. Like, they're incredibly flattening, they're very tight, especially a fresh pack of these will be super tight on your cards, and it just feels really good. Like, you'll hear when I'm doing, like, deck profiles and stuff, I'll often slap my cards on the table, you know, making this kind of noise, you know, because this is actually the oversleeve that makes that noise, you know, it's got a very thick plastic, and so that's why it makes this pleasant noise. For those of you that like hand shuffling, or like, you know, just, you know, if you're a little bit distracted like I am and you like doing those kind of things, then it's going to be pretty good for you. So I like those over sleeves a lot. Let me show you what the packaging looks like. However, the only issue is with these sleeves, so I'll show you now, these are Yanoman's Z Juniors. So these are distributed by Yanoman at yanoman.co.jp. I'm not sponsored. I don't think I ever will be because this company unfortunately only does service in Japan. So these are the, I mean, this is Z card protector over card Z Junior. So these are really, really good. These are by far my favorites. They're really cheap as well. They go for about 350 yen on average in Japan. That's about three, uh, $3.50 or something like that, about three euros in here in Europe. But these are super nice. And so, I mean, it, it shows already in the back that it's like, you know, the strong point is that it's just a very hard sleeve and it keeps things really intact. So I like these a lot. It even says like, Psycho Z, so that means like best Z sleeves. So you cannot actually find these on a lot of websites. The only website that I found these on is actually on Amazon Japan. So I'll leave a link to that in the description if you do want to get these because they don't sell them at Ami Ami's um, online store, which is where you'll be able to get any of the other products that I show, or at least like from that you know company in terms of products. But these ones are the only ones that Ami Ami does not sell, and they're very hard to get. But if you ever plan a trip to Japan, I'd say like stock up on a lot of these like they're they get sometimes pretty hard to come by because everybody likes them and so they're super efficient everybody likes to double sleeve in these so you know 
be careful if you see them in a shop when you're in Japan, do pick them up, I highly recommend it. Some of them will be a bit cheaper than in other places, so do keep that in mind as well. But I think these are super good, by far the best oversleeves, but you know, they're a bit hard to get and that's kind of the issue. However, a uh, type of oversleeve that I've used for a very long time until I switched to disease was actually the broccoli sleeve protector. So this one is already an open pack, you know, you get, oh I should have also mentioned, in the Z pack you get a total of 50, so exactly 50, just enough for a Vanguard deck, but they don't break. That's the other point I should have said with the Z sleeves. I have never had in my like over a year of using Z sleeves, a year and a half actually of using Z sleeves, not a single time has one of them broken. They are so sturdy. They're insanely sturdy. They never break. Like, I don't know what you have to do to them to actually make them break. They're all going to break you first before you break them. So they're really, really strong. And so just absolutely the best but broccolis like i said this one is an opened pack um this is just my spares left but this one contains a total of 80 over sleeves so if you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, that's enough to sleeve two decks but for vanguard it's going to be a deck plus a g zone maybe for your markers too actually and so you'll still have some spares left over but the broccolis are really good they're not as hard as the z sleeves and they won't like you know pierce your skin as the z sleeves they also come in two variations i should also note that there's three different sizes so you'll see that there's small medium and large size and the small one actually comes in two types so these are the clear over sleeves so you'll just like they don't they just have like the clear plastic like feeling they don't have like any other like sort of finish or anything like that but these also come in a matte finish as well if you prefer the matte feeling so that's actually a bit more of like you know choice that you can make so these are provided by the company that is broccoli they are a little bit more pricey these go for about 650 yen or so so that's going to be about six dollars six euros in uh, usd and euro so that's something to keep in mind they're a bit more pricey but i think they feel a bit nicer the z sleeves they feel good but like the hardness can sometimes get a little bit annoying so when i switch to a deck that's using these sometimes i actually feel like oh that's nice like they're so smooth and like you know just nice to, to feel but the problem is these do break after some time so usually after about i don't know let's say a couple of months of using a deck usually you'll have one or two sleeves from this series that will actually break so that's a bit unfortunate like they're still relatively sturdy but you're paying a bigger price for something that will actually break every now and again, but you do get a better feeling out of it. So that's kind of, you know, your personal preference. I still really like these, and I think I will still like sleeve some of my decks into these every now and again, just because I like the feeling of them quite a lot. And so I think it, it's just really nice. So I like these quite a lot. These ones you can find on Amiami. They do go out of stock every now and again, but they restock very frequently. So I'll leave a link in the description for the S size, both for the uh, matte finished ones as well as the clear ones, as long as they still sell them. I haven't bought these in a while, so keep that in mind. And then the last sleeve that I wanted to finish up on is actually ones that I only use when I'm single sleeving, and actually I never single sleeve in Vanguard unless it's for a trial deck, but usually what I'll use these for is in Yu-Gi-Oh, because in Yu-Gi-Oh you can only single sleeve, and these are the KMC Minis. So KMC Minis are very nice, they're the hyper matte ones, I love the hyper matte feeling, these just feel super nice. I know quite a few Vanguard players use these too because they just feel really good. Like, I'm not gonna open this because it's a fresh pack, but the KMC Hyper Minis feel super good to shuffle. They feel super nice. Like, especially shuffling, actually. Like, doing the the like the like side shuffle feels super good with these. With the Z sleeves, they shuffle pretty nice too, but, like, they will sometimes, like, poke your skin, as I said. And the other ones, they shuffle pretty well as well. But these ones, the shuffling feels super good. And so if you're strictly single sleeve only and you never double sleeve, Highly recommend these. I think these are the best single sleeves you can possibly have because they take a while to get damaged or worn out. You know, they don't produce spots as easily either. Oops, I dropped it. But, like, these are super nice. Um, in my locals, these go for 5 euros a pack, which I think is their general price. I can try to find the price in the pack because they usually do write this down, but I think because these are the export version, they might not actually say it. But this comes this comes with 60 pieces, so I mean, this is enough for a deck, and you have 10 spares as well, so definitely perfect for that. Super nice sleeves. Like, if you're a single sleeve person, highly recommend these. They come in a lot of different colors too, so definitely highly recommend. All right, uh, I'm gonna quickly go over some deck boxes. So most of the time what I use are Boucherodes, so Boucherodes V2 deck boxes. These ones are usually a little bit bigger. They fit more than just a deck, so they'll fit your deck and your gift markers too in the case of standard. But if you're playing premium, this will fit your deck and your G zone, but it's gonna struggle to fit your markers. That's one thing I've noticed. So because they released the V2 deck boxes when the game went into uh, G, or like when the 16 G zone became a thing, 
so that's when they had to up up the size of their deck boxes because like even though you use these for like vice and buddy fight and stuff you still needed to use the big ones just because vanguard needed the big ones which is an interesting company policy but anyway bush road v2 deck boxes come out all the time there's so many different types of like any kind of anime that you would like the vanguard deck boxes are always in v2 size as well and so there's just a lot of different ones i like them because they close nicely like they're pretty compact they don't like you know fiddle around too much i just like them because they're sturdy they do the job like obviously if you're going to smash it it's going to break but you shouldn't be doing that to your deck box anyway so i like them quite a lot for that but i like to use these because i can usually fit like three of these into my deck holders or two into the smaller one and so i like them quite a lot just for that so i like these quite a lot i think again if you're playing premium they won't fit your uh, markers, which is a little bit unfortunate. So usually I'll have like a standard deck with the markers in the deck box and then my premium deck with just the G-Zone in it. So that's something to keep in mind, but these are definitely very, very nice. So Busho does do a good job with those deck boxes. The other type that I often use is these ones are in a very particular like form. I think they're produced by Movic, um, if I'm not mistaken, or it might be Broccoli, but the Fire Emblem company, I mean, Intelligent Systems, sometimes releases in events these deck boxes. So these are much smaller than, I mean, if I put them side by side, they are somewhat smaller. And so they don't fit your G-Zones, but it's perfect. Like, this is my deck with my markers and a little separator in the middle. It's perfect for just your deck and your markers. So I usually keep eight markers with me on my deck. And so, and it's double sleeve too. If you're single sleeving, this will fit, you know, your G-Zone and everything. And this will obviously fit G-Zone markers and everything. And if I'm talking about like what fits i'm always talking from a double sleeving perspective so do keep that in mind but i think this deck box is super nice fits everything you kind of needed to do but obviously these are event limited but if you do want boxes of this size movic and i think broccoli do produce them and if you want something even bigger than the bush road v2s i think broccoli has like the max size deck boxes i actually have one but i'm not sure where i put it but they're even bigger than this so maybe for those premium decks where you want to carry the gift markers dg zone and the main deck all together in one box that's going to be basically perfect for you because it really fits everything so it's a very huge deck box but it's definitely going to fit everything you need finally i'm going to show off my like deck holders so the first one of which is just your standard bushy road deck holder which is like they usually come out as a folded out like unfolded thing that you have to fold yourself into creating this little thing they're quite nice they i mean miss my good and lagan one is beat up to some extent because i take it with me every time but usually i'll carry like you know three decks and i can still fit dice on the side too and when it's three decks you know they're very compact so the dice don't move around either you know in terms of dice i don't use anything particularly important these are just like this i got this is the my dp uh dice that i got from scarlet and this is a dice that i got from one of my friends from locals from an event in germany so i like to use these kind of like sentimental dice because i mean for vanguard i usually remember my powers if you do want to use dice the only ones I can really recommend in terms of like power tracking are these ones. I don't remember what company they're from, but I think like you'll know them if you see them. So they're the tiny like acrylic dice that I like quite a lot. There's a lot of them in here. I don't remember the exact count, but I don't use them that often. But if I'm going to a big tournament and I'm using a deck that needs a lot of power counters, like, I don't know, Angels in G format or something, then I definitely bring these with me. And the final thing I would have liked, I'd like to show you is, I believe this one is either by Broccoli or by Movic. I'll put it in the, in the you know, in the subtitle. But this is like a two deck kind of deck holder. It's shaped as a treasure box. I like that a lot, but I don't think they sell these anymore. But it's really nice because it fits exactly exactly two of the v2 deck boxes and that's super good because it's perfect for if you want to carry just two decks with you i'm not sure how many of these deck boxes it would fit but for the v2s as i said it's a perfect snug fit of two and that's super nice it has these you know it has the sticky tabs here so it just like seals up like that and it's very nice you know and it just it feels good it's a perfect size you know it carries them very snug and i like it a lot for that so i use this one sometimes as well when i'm just taking two decks with me so definitely a nice deck holder so that's gonna be for this little kind of, you know, my accessory showcase, because these are basically like the most prominent accessories I use for card games, you know, whether it's sleeves, deck boxes, deck holders, etc. So I hope if you were kind of doubting what to pick or like, you know, not sure what to use, you kind of know now. One thing to always take away if you are double sleeving is that the right way, like honestly, I really will say this is the right way, is that your card is usually sleeved up like this so that it's pushed into the sleeve like that the oversleeve being on top so that you don't leave any holes for the card to come in from because this way you see there's a hole in the bottom but the card is at the top so you don't expose it because if you do it like this which i think is very faulty you are exposing the card 
twice. So when I open it like this, you can see the card. That's a problem because this way, like one, it can slip out. I mean, with the Z sleeves, they're very, very tight and it's very hard to actually slip anything out, which is a very strong point of these. But otherwise, like if any water gets in here, your card's doomed. And so that's a big, big issue. So always when you're double sleeving, I highly, highly recommend always do it on the two sides to make sure that your card is safe so that's it for my little psa on accessories and sleeving i guess but i hope you guys like this let me know what accessories you guys use or if you use any of the ones i recommended what do you think of them and you know if this helped you then i'm really glad if it did so that's gonna be for me today and i'll see you guys next time bye bye